Hey guys, Natasha Tessier here. Thank you so much for tuning in. I am so glad you're here. I am a solo agent, which means I don't have a team. I don't hand you off to anybody else. It's just me and my assistant, Megan, and my showing assistants who help show the houses and narrow down the focus, but you only work with me. So a lot of other YouTubers out there are have 37 and 40 people on a team and they just rotate it. It's just me. When you call an email, you're going to talk to me. I would love to work with you and help you move to Texas. Today, I'm going to talk about the top neighborhoods in Montgomery, Texas for families. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. I am down at the coast, enjoying some nice weather down here. It's actually cool down here for August, so we escape here sometimes before school starts next week. So I thought I'd film this really quickly to tell you some of the top neighborhoods in Montgomery. I live in Montgomery. I absolutely love it. I love the small town feel. I just did a video here on Montgomery recently, but this is specifically on the different neighborhoods that I love in Montgomery and a lot of my clients love. So if you need a realtor, please reach out. You can fill out my form below and I would be happy to have a Zoom call with you and set up your search and help you relocate if that's something you're looking at doing. I help families every single day like you. Don't hesitate, don't be shy. Okay, so today I have my notes here and I'm gonna start with Bentwater. So I've done a video on Bentwater here. You can go check it out if that's where you, if you like lake living, you might like Bentwater. Now it is further out, that's the only complaint I hear, but it is a gorgeous master plan community it is one of the only communities that is, when I say gated, it's a manned gate. So you literally can't get in there if you don't, if you're not with an agent or you're not a homeowner and somebody has left your name at the gate. It's very, very protected. They have two championship golf courses. I have clients closing on their waterfront property next week. Super excited for them. They're golfers. They have a clubhouse. They have a gorgeous place on the lake for weddings. They have a marina. They have a workout facility, tennis courts. Everything you'd ever want is in this neighborhood. And they have small kind of patio home living with you know, very little maintaining all the way up to luxury homes. My, it's almost like half an acre on the water. So all sorts of different ways to live in Bentwater. It's zoned to Montgomery High School, which is the older of the two high schools in Montgomery. Pretty low tax rate. I think it's right around two. There are, you know, a social membership. You have to have a membership. You don't have to have the golf club membership, but you have to pay for one membership to be part of the community. So that is something to consider but it is a favorite of many, many of my clients and it's growing out that way. And it is probably one of the prettiest neighborhoods as far as being on the water that we have as far as lakefront living. Okay, the next one is also one of my favorites. It's Blue Jack National. Now, Blue Jack National is a Tiger Woods golf course out in Montgomery in the hills. The land is some of the prettiest I've ever seen. And the neighborhood is super chill for a country club, okay? So we ended up joining there because we love the laid back attitude. You can take your dog out on your golf cart with you and take him golfing. You don't have to have a collared shirt. Very, very laid back atmosphere, but absolutely stunning. They did just change it two months ago where in order to have a membership, you have to have real estate in the neighborhood. When we joined, we don't live in there. We don't have real estate in the neighborhood. There is a great, kids center called the fort and you've got pickleball which my kids love to go you can go at night we go all winter and play they've got a baseball field they've got a football field and basketball courts inside they've got a bowling alley and a ping pong tables and they've got a shake shack where you can get burgers right by the pool the pool has huge water slides everything you'd want for kids right there at the fort and then they also have the spa area where that's gonna be kind of your state-of-the-art fitness center and spa. And they also have an adult only pool attached to that. And then you have the place where you can go and have dinner right now, but they're building a brand new clubhouse. I think it's gonna be called The Porch. And I think it opens on Labor Day weekend. So brand new big clubhouse opening at Blue Jack. And then the place I've heard might become a sushi bar or just a sports bar for everybody there. 
There are different cabins that you can rent as a member if you want to take family out there or a lot of people own out there and love it. It is really, really an amazing place to be. We love to go out there and spend our weekends out there. They also have Blake's Cottage where you can go in and you can, you know, get candy and a snack on the golf course. And then the big barbecue pit. And that is where they have a recreation. I can't remember which hole it is at Augusta National. I'm not a golfer, but my son is. And they recreated this hole over the water. And so you can sit out at the barbecue pit and they have a fire pit and they smoke all sorts of good Texas brisket and sausage. It's truly in Turkey. It's unbelievable. And they have an outdoor bar there just on dirt with another candy shop. So Blue Jack is special, special. It's new, newer, and it is going to be zoned to Montgomery. And it is really an amazing, special place. If you are looking for luxury, that would be your place in Montgomery. Okay, the next one is going to be Crown Ranch. So I'm in Crown Oaks but there's also a Crown Ranch. So Crown Ranch is a master plan community just down from Blue Jack, a little bit more private, a little bit more quiet, large acre lots. So if you're looking for kind of peaceful, quiet place to live, it might be Crown Ranch. That one is gonna be zoned to Magnolia. And actually, I think a portion of it actually goes to Navasota in the back. So be careful with your school zoning when you're looking. But these are acreage home sites, kind of quiet out in the trees. A lot of people love this peaceful serenity out there. There's walking trails. There is a neighborhood swimming pool as well. You have a, a neighborhood swimming pool and sport courts. And like I said, miles and miles of walking trail, very serene, very peaceful, very quiet area. So whereas Blue Jack is right down, they're all in this same beautiful area of Montgomery Magnolia, kind of on the border of both. But Blue Jack is, there's a lot more going on because you've got people right around in golf carts it's not as you know quiet if you're looking for peace and quiet you're going to want to go there or the next neighborhood which is also one of my favorites i've sold a ton of houses in here this is going to be high meadow estates i have done a video here on high meadow estates my clients love it the tax rate is 1.5 you can get a your own personal water well if you have 1.5 acres or more that goes to all those places if you have 1.5 acre or more in the county of montgomery you can add your own water well where you're not paying for water you can buy the land in High Meadow Estates and you can have your own, you know, custom builder in there. Great, great place to land and just gorgeous homes. I love the homes in there. They do have a huge neighborhood pool and basketball courts and ponds that you can fish and walking trails. It's in a very cool location. Zone to Magnolia, the new Magnolia the newer of the two Magnolia, not Mag West, but Magnolia High School, right on 1488, right by Audubon. That's where those kids are zoned to. And people love High Meadow Estates. So High Meadow is a developer. They started with High Meadow Ranch, High Meadow Estates. Now they're doing one further out in Plannersville. All of their neighborhoods are very highly sought after. One of the other neighborhoods I wanna talk about is Pine Island. So this is the manned gate portion of wood forest so you still have all the great amenities of wood forest but you have a very private entrance you are across fish creek so you can take your golf cart across a lot of these are on the golf course of wood forest these start at 1.5 and go up but it is a very private way to live but not quite as far out as some of the others so people who are looking for luxury but don't want to be quite so far out they are going to pine island that might be a good spot for you. They are all custom homes. The HOA is gonna be a lot higher because you have the man gate in a very small kind of private neighborhood, but people love it in there. So Pine Island might be a good option. And then of course, Wood Forest is probably gonna be one of your biggest options. There are so many options in Wood Forest anywhere from 450, I would say 500,000 small. Actually, you could be in the, the 400,000 um, for a smaller house all the way up to you know, several million. I have a client under contract in there in the Eagle Point section, which is also, it's not a man gate, but it is the gated kind of luxury section of Wood Forest. They are closing in a few weeks. They have a gorgeous remodeled home in there, more private. We used to live in Spyglass. 
You can ride your bike or take your golf cart to the pizza parlor. There's all new amenities there as far as shopping, restaurants. There's an Italian restaurant going in. There's a steak bar going in. My favorite sushi place is there. You've got the grocery, the organic grocery store. You've got coffee shops. Literally everything you'd ever want is in Wood Forest. You've got the adult pool, the kids pool, and then a new pool in the back. You've got dog parks. You've got walking trails. So. Wood Forest is uber, uber popular. The tax rate in there ranges from 2.2 right now to about 2.6, depending on the section and the school district. But a huge favorite of many clients, if you have younger kids and you want that master plan community feel and you want the 4th of July parades and everybody kind of being together and that sense of community and you want kids in and out of your house all the time, that is gonna be your spot in Wood Forest. Okay guys, I hope that that was helpful. I've also done another video here on the Acreage Ridge neighborhoods. I wanna say that Crown Oaks, Grand Lakes, and Montgomery Trace, three of the most popular Acreage Ridge communities zoned to Lake Creek High School. They're kind of in a little triangle and people love to get in there. I actually have a new listing going live in there next week week on the water super excited about it so if you're looking anywhere in montgomery i would love to help you i love what i do and do not hesitate to reach out anytime days nights weekends let us know how we can help you and i hope you have a blessed day